welcome in the lecture of introduction to fuzzy logic fuzzy logic is basically a part of soft computing technique and it deals with the imprecision and uncertainty available in the real world systems while we are modeling them implementing them so i would start this lecture uh, by introducing you uh, human decision making techniques so human decision making techniques are uh, used by human beings in their decisions and the major uh, specification or we can say the special characteristics of this human decision making is that uh, that they make decisions in the environment of uncertainty imprecision and partial truth so the idea here is that can we implement such human decision making in machines so working on this idea created a new uh, base to have a mathematical platform for representing such kind of manipulating and implementing such kind of human decision making technique so before going further uh, it is important to hear to know uh, few other uh, special uh, facts about the human decision making and humans that why we want to use uh, the human decision making in machines also so the first point is that humans are always flexible and soft systems they are adaptable to unfamiliar situations and also they have capability to deal with this general qualitative and approximate vague information and they can reason infer and deduce new information from this existing general qualitative and approximate vague information apart from this human beings have the common sense they got experience they acquire uh, experience uh, by uh, learning perceiving different statements and different knowledges so they have experience and the, and also the human beings are creative inventive and innovative so these are the different features of human decision making techniques in which uh, the advantage we can say that th these are the advantages of uh, using the human decision making systems so we uh, go further and uh, if it is uh, implemented means human decision making is going to be implemented on machines then there is one problem over here the representation of human knowledge basically when we talk to each other this is a very subjective information for example the we never said that today's temperature today's temperature is uh, 4 degree centigrade or 6 degree centigrade we we say always that today is very cold and uh, in summers we say uh, today is very hot we never say that this is 41 degree centigrade or 45 degree centigrade so we are communicating we are representing our knowledge we are communicating we are manipulating our knowledge, our decision making uh, using such kind of subjective uh, linguistic information so to represent such kind of linguistic information like uh, i have given some statements over here that uh, it is a very hot today he is a young person the building is very high and he is an average student so the thing is here that is there any platform is there any technique or base by which can we can convert this uh, linguistic words linguistic knowledge into mathematics because if we don't uh, convert it into mathematics we cannot make a software program because to make a software program for any system it is very important to convert that system into some type of mathematics so this is very very important to represent this linguistic information and the important thing is here important thing is that the knowledge has subjective nature knowledge have subjective nature and this is full of uncertainties vagueness and imprecision so uh, the representation of human knowledge is a big problem and this is the reason by which the fuzzy logic has been introduced so fuzzy logic is a uh, mathematical framework that deals with the subjective attributes of uh, uh, linguistic knowledge and that it provides a better platform for manipulating the human knowledge and used for uh, 
uh, decision making. So, uh, I just want to introduce here uh, Professor L. A. Zade. He has written a paper, research paper, Fuzzy Sets, and uh, this was published in the journal Information and Control, Volume 8, in 1965. So, this was the first time when the idea of fuzzy sets came into existence and this was introduced by professor Lofi Alisker Jade at University of California, Berkeley. So, uh, the major features of this fuzzy logic was that they deals with the approximate reasoning as I have told earlier that this is also used for uh, representing the human knowledge which is full of subjective feature and uh, uncertainty and imprecision wagonist also. It has multi valued logic I would be explaining later that what is the meaning of multi valued logic because this is an extension of boolean crisp logic I would be explaining uh, later it represents uh, this represents and process the linguistic information I have already told and subjective attributes this is already discussed. So, here I want to give you a very uh, little uh, mathematical idea to introduce fuzzy sets. So, normally in crisp set theory you can say uh, if I have one set A and the members of this set are 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 these are the different members of this set. So, here it is uh, well presented that the members of this set are either present in the set or not. For example, I ask a question that is 10 is, is 10 available in the set A. So, the answer is yes and its membership degree is 1, but if I ask 100 is available in the set then no that means the membership degree is 0. So, here are only two possibilities either 1 either s or no or 0. So, you have two membership degrees over here 1 means it is present or 0 means it is not present. So, this 1 or 0 concept has been extended in fuzzy logic extended in fuzzy logic. In fuzzy set a new concept of membership degree has been introduced a new concept of membership degree has been introduced. So, I just explain here a fuzzy set for example, a 10 1 20 1 30 1 40 0 0.9 50 0 0.8 60 0 0.6 70 0 0.4 this is a fuzzy set in this fuzzy set 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 are the members of this set but 1 and 0 0.9 0 0.8 these are called membership degrees membership degree so what is the membership degree of 10 1 that means it is 100 percent available in the set, but if the degree is 0 0.9 this means the degree the presence of this um, particular element 40 is 90 percent 0 0.9. Similarly, 50 is included in the set with the membership degree of 0 0.8 means 80 percent it is available in the set this is 60 0 0.6 0 0.4. So, we have introduced here uh, multiple values 
in between 0 and 1 including 0 and 1 both. So, in this case you have only two value two values 0 and 1 that means, this is called a bivalent logic, but here when you have introduced 0 and 1, but in between values are also included. So, this is called multi valued logic, this is called multi valued logic which is an important feature of fuzzy sets, this is a multi valued logic. Now, uh, I explain the fuzzy set example in a w in an, an, an another way and uh, that is uh, I would be taking an example of tall peoples. So, tall peoples are as follows for example, I am taking the height of the different peoples in centimeter. So, I have a set tall here the values are 165 170, 175, 180 and 185. So, uh, for example, here if I take it as 165 is the tall height of tall person. 165 and more is the height of a tall person, height of a tall person. So, if I make a graph to represent this condition, we have like this, this is 0 and this is 1 and uh, here I would be giving the information like 50, 100, 150, 200 and 250 like this and now I would identify the point uh, 165. So, I think 165 is here, you have 165 here. So, if I represent the crisp set for this tall set, so what will happen from uh, the height uh, you get a value over here that this will switch to 1, this will switch to 1 like this, this is sharp line. Huh. So, uh, this is go to 1 that means, from 165 because this point is 165, 165 centimeter. So, it has become 1 from 0 at the point 165 means more than 165 will be the including 165 will be the tall person. But if I want to represent this uh, using a fuzzy set, then what will be there? I would uh, change a uh, few things in this graph and the set will be given to you same set 0 and this is 1. And this is 50, 100, 150, 200 and more. So, here I again I identify a 165, so I have taken it as 165 over here, but uh, here is some uh, changes in this graph. Uh, I would be taking the graph from 150 and this graph will be for example, uh, I am just explaining to you 
if I create this graph this is 165. So, I would connect this point with this. So, I would be taking by 145 and this will be the representation for height. So, from this point the height would become 1. So, what is going to happen over here if I want to this is the representation of a fuzzy set. Now, I, I would tell you how we have started from 145. So, we see here uh, I would take this as a 1 48 as 0 0.3 comma 1 53 as 0 0.4 1 58 as 0 0.6 and 162 as 0 0.9 then again 165 1 170 1 175 1 180 1 185 1 and so on. So, here uh, you see here that the height 1 at 48 is 0 0.3 means it is 30 percent tall it is 40 percent tall it is 60 percent tall when the height is going to increase the percentage the possibility of including the particular height into the fuzzy into the set of tall peoples is going to increase. So, the thing is that we are giving the chance in the set of tall people with a particular possibility at 148 height with the other persons with the height 148, 153, 158, 162 and then after from 165 it is going to 1. So, this is fuzzy set which provides a more realistic view of the tall person. So, this is the concept of uh, uh, fuzzy set representation I would be uh, giving uh, different aspect of uh, different aspects of operations which are going to be performed on the fuzzy sets in the next lecture and I would be also explaining the fuzzy knowledge based systems or the fuzzy uh, rule based systems in the next lecture with the implementation from the Guaje and MATLAB, X, MATLAB softwares. So, thank you so much for being with us.